Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Kruokon Keith here and today uh, we're going to take a look at my PlayStation Vita games collection. Let's take a look. So I've been collecting for the PlayStation Vita for well over a year now. I got the system about a year and a half ago, probably a little bit longer, and I thought it was awesome. I got it around the time it was beginning to die and people were saying it was rubbish. I held off getting it until then for various reasons, but I think it's great. It's a really cool system, apart from the great games that are on it. It's got some cool features like the remote play that you can do now with PlayStation 4. You can play your PS4 anywhere in the house, which is really cool. But um. The biggest draw for me are the games. I'm a collector. I like the physical games. I've not downloaded one single game for it. Everything I own is physical. So I've about 30 slash 35 physical games and I'm going to show you them now. Let's take a look at them. So the first game as you can see is Touch My Katamari and if any of you guys have played the original on the PlayStation 2 you'll know what this is all about. Basically be, you become a big ball of stuff and you collect other stuff and it's awesome and on the Vita there's extra controls and that kind of thing it's really cool it's also it was original on PlayStation 2 and it's on 360 as well but um, definitely picked this up when I seen it next game is Reality Fighters uh, I've never even played this I picked it up maybe for two euro as far as I know the idea is you can either scan your image into the game or something like this and you become the the fighter and uh, looks terrible one of the first games I got for the system was Mod Nation Racers, which was cool. The only thing I thought was really weird about this was the load times were, were shocking on the thing. Uh, I've never really experienced bad load times since. Um, but this is one of the first games I had, so I played it to death. It's a really fun little racer. New Little King Story. I got this at the same time as well. I played it a little bit. It wasn't really my thing. Uh, kind of role-playing slash strategy but it's there anyway army corpse of hell is a fun kind of battle um, I'm not gonna say God of War but that kind of action style game it was alright bit of fun and like most oh no this has a man a lot of Vita games just come with the little cartridge they don't have much more to them Minecraft uh, one of the worst versions you can buy is on the Vita and look that's a problem with a lot of Vita games the stickers come off the cartridges so I definitely got that second hand from a kid who had no respect for it Wipeout 2048 absolutely brilliant played this to death uh, there's I got that brand new uh, opened up the cellophane and nothing inside except the cartridge pretty normal on the Vita <laughs> but clearly I didn't get it brand new I thought I did how embarrassing. I'll edit that out. Not. Killzone Mercenary. Absolutely fantastic uh, first person shooter for the Vita. Um, again, I got this at the same time I got the other games when I got it brand new. And that was mind blowing. Just to think a handheld was doing graphics like this. I know today we have the Switch and uh, the Vita kind of pales. But this is still a cool game. Michael Jackson The Experience HD. I think this has been on so many... I've, I own so many versions of this, uh, this, and you know, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. I love his music and I've never played one. I'm just not into that kind of dancing kind of game. Persona 4 Golden. Uh, Japanese role-playing, set in modern times. Not my thing, really. Looney Tunes Galactic Sports. This is a bit of fun. Um. I know it's weird that I recommend this over Persona 4, which is such a well-respected game, but I had a lot of fun with this in all its ridiculousness. Spy Hunter! Cool car game with weapons. What more do you need? FIFA 13! It's not bad. Um, there's a couple of FIFAs on the on the, the Vita, but uh, if you're into it, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not amazing. Haven't played any Uncharted games. So since finishing The Last of Us um, on the PlayStation 4 months ago, I intended to play all the Uncharted games. Still just do not have the time. The Sly Trilogy. Now these games were amazing on the PlayStation 2. I played all three of them and here they are again in pocket size. Apparently they're exactly the same as the PlayStation 2. Assassin's Creed 3. 
a Liberation. If you're into Assassin's Creed, you might like that. If you're not into Assassin's Creed, you might not like that. Resistance Burning Skies, I haven't played this, and it's one I'm definitely looking forward to getting into sometime in the future. Awesome first person shooter. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Haven't opened this. Probably just keep it sealed. Muramasa. Um, video game. The Lego movie. The video. Oh. Well, that's quite a problem. It must be in the Vita. Lego Batman 2. DC Superheroes. I love the Lego games. So many of them, it's kind of getting a bit uh, hard to keep up with them. Little Big Planet. PlayStation Vita. Haven't played it. But I own it. Tear away. One of my favorite games on the system. Ugh. I, got, I remember getting a few games from this kid and all this, the labels were missing. But this game is probably the best game I've played on the Vita. It's it's amazing. The way the little guy looks up at you and you look at him and the controls at the bat. Oh, it's, it's cool. If you haven't played it, you're missing out. Angry Birds, Star Wars. I've never even tried it, but I've played it on, on PC. Not my team. Gravity Rush. This is meant to be an awesome game. Well reviewed for the, for the Vita. Haven't played it because I own too many games. Farming Simulator 16. I don't even know why this is in my collection. And more and more of these keep popping up in my collection for different systems. It's just not so... It's, I, my mind boggles that these are even popular. But what can you do? Some of my newer pickups. Hyper D Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 2. These were all brand new. They were traded in like hours before I bought them in a trade... A a game shop here in Dublin, CEX it's called, and apparently they're all sealed and they had to open them up and blah blah. Unbelievable. Anyway, Super Dimension Neptune versus Sega, no, Sega versus Hard Girls. Again, see what I mean? Usually you just get the cartridge. Hyper Dimension Neptune U Action Unleashed. Yay! It's always good to unleash, unleash action. Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Don't know much about this. Picked it up because it was cheap. Akiba's Beat or Akiba's Feet. Either a fine game or a role playing game. Ages of Earth. Also haven't tried that out yet. Here's one, one that I bought with the system. Did play a lot of Virtua Tennis 4 World Tour Edition. Uh, if you're into tennis games and like I wouldn't say I am but I really really had a lot of time a lot of fun with this and I spent a lot of time on it. It's really really good. And my last game on the system is Lego Jurassic World. It's also sealed, so probably won't open that up. Okay, that was a quick look at my Vita games. I think I'm 35 there, if my memory serves me correctly. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't, and see you on the next video. If you liked that video, and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like, and please subscribe, because it helps very much. Thank you. PlayStation Vita inspires new ways to game. With PS Vita, new gaming experiences are possible. Vita's new control features make it easy to play. The biggest and best games are even better. Change the way you play. With the AT&T Broadband Network, experience real-time connection to your gaming community. PS Vita 3G Plus Wi-Fi lets you play when you want and in more locations. With Party, you can invite other players to the game and voice chat during gameplay even if you're not playing the same game.
with the PS Vita, you can create your own levels and content. The Near app lets you find other players nearby and allows you to share gifts with them. Continually updating leaderboards allow you to post your top scores and keep an eye on the competition. Discover augmented reality with the Vita's front and rear cameras. What you see in your world becomes a part of what you play on your Vita. Never stop playing with PlayStation Vita. PlayStation.